everyone, so I'm going to quickly give you a short demonstration on how to search Flickr for appropriately licensed images, meaning images that you can easily cite and reuse in your own work. So of course, the first thing we need to do is to go to the Flickr site, so flickr.com, and that takes you to the landing page of Flickr. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with a search. I know I'm interested in searching for jellyfish, so into that search bar I type in jellyfish and I can either press enter or click the little icon, the little magnifying glass, so I'm going to click that. That's going to do a search for me. So it brings back all of these beautiful images. As we can see, I have over 350,000 images to look at. Um, but before I get my heart set on any one of these images, I'm going to do a filter and restrict my images so it's an appropriately licensed image for reuse. So to do that, I click the little arrow right beside any license. And for my purposes for the search today, I'm going to go down and look at no known copyright restrictions. So this is going to be the most permissive license. Um, it's also going to bring back fewer results than if I had used a different license. So keep that in mind when you're doing your own search. A more permissive license, you might not find as many hits because people do like to have control over their work. So for today though, I'm going to click no known copyright restrictions and that's going to again filter that search for me. And you can see I only have about a thousand images instead of the 350,000 images. So still quite a few, but a lot more limited. So I've got some beautiful images here and I already see one I really like. So I'm going to click this image here. I'm interested in this compass jellyfish. So I'm going to click it. And that brings me to the page for this particular image. So the great thing about Flickr is it really takes a lot of the guesswork of citing an image out of the equation for you. So I know right away I can reuse this image um, because it's in the public domain. Um, if I clicked that link, it would take me to the Creative Commons license about public domain works. Um, the other great thing about Flickr is it does give you information on the user. So we've got the author of the work um, and you can use a username in a citation. That's totally fine. Um, we've got the title of the work, Compass Jellyfish. So I would include all of this information in my citation the date it was created, um, and then some other information. So if you're interested in information about the um, camera and how it was collected, that information is there for you. Um, and the final piece of information you'd want to include in a citation is the link. Um, so don't use this horrible, long, very specific URL at the top here. Instead, do use the link that is made for sharing. And to get to that, we click the little arrow icon here and that will open a new screen with a nice short little link that is made for sharing. So you'd use that in your citation instead. So that's finding an image in Flickr as well as information on citing it. Note that reference managers and citation managers don't necessarily automatically capture the information on citing an image for you, so keep that in mind. Flickr does produce a lot of this information on your behalf, um, so it does make it a little bit easier. Whereas with Google, you have to do a little bit more searching on your own, but it is also doable. You just have to do your due diligence. So that's all for searching an image with an appropriate license in Flickr.